How do time for Spider and Old Scooter? I'm Old Scooter. Spider Solitaire is a game. Whatever else happens is not to be announced in advance. Uh, this is the 20th of June, the day before the solstice. So I'm going to call this the day before the solstice edition of Spider and Old Scooter. Solstice, of course, the longest day of the year. You get up past the Arctic Circle, it's the night of the midnight sun, where the sun never sets. It's the longest, coldest, or the shortest, coldest, least sunny day in the Southern Hemisphere. Or I suppose they call it the winter solstice. That's uh, good. Uh, there were the usual uh, atrocities uh, and political embarrassments today. I will uh, address them with a maxim from La Roche Foucault. A little later on. Meanwhile, let's get the game going. New game. Two suits. And they're off. Bum, bum, bum. Spider, the uh, artificial intelligence with the mostest. And old scooter with whatever's left. Okay, so we'll make the natural moves to start with. Black on black, red on red, should there be any. There are a few black on blacks. I see no red on reds. Now then I can put a black on a red. Why not? He said. Ah, uh, there we go. In the usual atrocities and political embarrassments field, we're apparently risking war head-to-head -head with Russia over strange judgment calls. I'm not saying wrong just strange, and that they uh, brought on the possibility of an escalating war um, by decision-makers in the government. Although the way uh, President Trump has been delegating right and left, maybe it's um, mistakes made by purely military people, or maybe they're not mistakes. We'll see, we'll see. But anyway, that's, that's going on. The first big... Um, storm, the first big tropical storm, is in the Gulf. Slow moving, heavy raining. It's not a hurricane, but it's going to apparently dump buckets. Uh, they're used to that down there, although it's always an inconvenience when your house floods. I'm not seeing much here. No flood of moves. Well, I'll do this, then that, if you don't mind. Now, if you're into spider solitaire, quite a few people are, uh, maybe a larger number of people aren't, I hear, from various souls. But it's an interesting game, and its subtleties are like I just did. Do you move that? Should you try that? Should you? It's a gambler's game. You know, you make decisions, you take chances, you take risks in hope of reaping rewards. And if that's not a gambling game, I don't know what is. I don't gamble with real money, in truth, but um, here in old Scooterville, it costs $500 to play this game. You have to win 550 even to break even. It costs you a dollar a move until you get 50 moves, and then it starts costing ten dollars in move. So you see you can be lured into I call that a restack. You can be lured into losing a lot of money and she's a very alluring woman and the way she runs this game. Actually she's just a pile of pixels down there with a really smart algorithm hiding behind those sweet eyes. She's got my number right now. So I'll probably well, do this. I have a queen. Do I want really one? I've got a queen. I won't do it. See how decisive I am. What else was I going to mention? Got the rain. Oh, yeah. Seems like it was something. Oh, hot. Hot here today. Hot over the whole southwest of the United States of America. And guess what? New Mexico is 
right there in the midst of it. Down in town today, Amar uh, Amarillo, Albuquerque, <laughs> I don't know where I am. Albuquerque, uh, it reached 104, said some TV person, which is quite warm for here. Uh, Phoenix and Tucson got up in the 120 in its uh, area, and it's the first time it's hit 120 in those towns in like 20, 25 years. So don't tell me it is or isn't global warming. It's just hot. Uh, we have no air. Can you hear the fan in the background? The hush. Big old, um, um, I'd say 14 inch reciprocal fan. Uh, you know, back and forth. And I had the fun of uh, refurbishing it this afternoon. It was sort of falling apart. Pieces were falling off and it was clanking and it was dirty through and through. So I took it apart, cleaned it, put it back together way tighter, more firm refurbished that Dickens. How long are you going to ignore that move? Scooter. Oh. A band plays in the background. My sweet wife seems to be watching something on her iPad, which has a surprisingly good little sound system somehow in that skinny little piece of technology. Better uh, than my uh, laptop, which is quite a bit bigger. It's an old laptop, is why it's quite a bit bigger. But can't keep up with new stuff. If you try, you might cry. You know, I'm kind of close. That's a King Two stack. I could conceivably get a score. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah. We have uh, solar electricity here at the old house. Three and a half kilowatts of panels. One of those deals where we share electricity back and forth with the local utility. And uh, instead of spending, oh, I don't know, $1,500 a year or more, well, way, way more, it was like uh, $2,600 a year on electricity. Now we pay like 600 you hear that great yelling in the background? I bet it's a comedian. Sounds like a comedian. Well, let's press on fearlessly here. So we have no air conditioning here in the mountains. It's sacrilegious to have air conditioning in the mountains. And uh, I don't know whether it's penny or pound foolish, but it's foolish because you only really need it maybe eight or nine days a year. So in those days when we need it and don't have it, fans. I grew up with fans. I was a kid in the pre-air conditioning age. You know, I'm an old guy. I'm 80 years old. You go way back when you're 80. And we had no air conditioning then. They have, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> no air conditioning now. <coughs> One day Santa Claus will bring me a kill switch that I can cough without blowing out your eardrums. Till then, deal with it. This is all very nice, but now I have a two block at the bottom of my score pile here. My king stack, king two stack. And she could hold me in her loving arms. She could hold me still staunch as in staunching blood flow, you know, stopped. And she may have done it already. I only have one card to deal left. I've got to somehow figure out how to move that two and magically create an ace of blackness. Spades in this case. Well, there one is. Now I have a five and a two to move. Nowhere for that five to go, and we know, oh, there's a place that could go. Can I do this? Can I figure a way out? Is there a way? I'm now losing $89 
out of deals, only punched one hole, no score. Terrible situation. Terrible, terrible, terrible. In hot weather, one should drink a lot. Liquids. This. <laughs> you can't even see that. You can't see anything. It's the pink stuff and a little ice left over. gotta say hydrated that's a pomegranate and my favorite <laughs> uh, one of my favorite uh, constituents of drink is um, organic pure cane sugar it's the second most uh, used product in here uh, right after crystal clear water then you get a little pomegranate juice and something called natural flavors. Heaven knows what they are. And heaven ain't talking. Well, it's been a joy. Um, Follow-up story. I've, uh, I'm sure you don't know about it, but, uh, so I'll catch you up real quickly. Uh, a few days ago, there was a story in the local daily, the Albuquerque Journal, that there was a fire out here somewhere, out here in the mountains, close to the Mountaineer Ranger Station. And then the next day, all mention of it disappeared. You couldn't find it on the fire sites. Uh, the paper had nothing in it or, or on its website. I met a lady from Mountain Air who said, there's no fire out there. I didn't bother to correct her, say the news was at the ranger station, just named Mountain Air, not town Mountain Air. But anyway, then I decided it was fake news. Somebody had, for some impenetrable motivation, had put a fake news story that there was a fire out near Mountaineer, scared the heck out of everybody who lives around here because having a fire loose in this kind of weather is like releasing the dragon. Release the dragon! Um, but yesterday then and flowing on in today, in fact there was a fire and it was contained at 12 acres and it was put out. And news being what it is, it suddenly was no longer news. It wasn't showing up in any of the reports. So it wasn't fake news uh, for, about which I'm very relieved. Um, it was a fire, which is scary, but it was put out, which is wonderful. I had asked on the first night I disclosed it on this uh, powerful medium here we're using, um, that if you were the praying sort, why didn't you put pro? I really would appreciate it if you pray... Uh, to get it contained quickly and put out. And it was, and maybe one or two of you did. And I'm standing in awe of the psychic universe we live in. And with that sort of hippie pronouncement, um, I bid you good night.